Hi there, it's uh, Nick again from Digital Yacht with our weekly dealer and distributor update for Monday the 11th of April. Um, I'm here with one of our uh, latest products which we literally just put into production this week. It's called the WLN10, a wireless to NMEA server or an NMEA to wireless server depending on which way you want to look at it. Essentially the device takes NMEA data, NMEA 0183 data that's available on board the boat and transmits it wirelessly to other mobile devices such as iPhones, iPads, uh, Android type devices, PCs, Macs, in fact anything that can pick up a, uh, a normal wireless signal. It doesn't require connection to the internet, it actually creates its own local hotspot on board the boat uh, and then just relays the NMEA data that's available from a boat's network, be it depth, speed, GPS type data, uh, onto those systems. It's also got a bit of clever technology in that it will take data back as well. So if the app that you're using or the program that you're using supports uh, NMEA data output, pick up that data, pick it up wirelessly and send it back into the boat's system. So you can possibly do waypoint exchange uh, and also gather other uh, yeah, cross-track information and so on for autopilots. So we see this as being a strategically really important product for integrating wireless into a boat's network. Fitting it is very straightforward. There's just two wires for power, two wires for data in and out. Uh, and a simple Wi-Fi antenna that sends the signal with a range of probably 30 to 40 meters. So it's, it's good on a boat up to 30 or 40 meters in length. Now in terms of applications, we see a couple of really core applications. First is integrating into an instrument network and allowing that data to be relayed uh, onto iPhone, iPads. There's lots of NMEA type viewing apps that are available for nominal amounts of money. Some are even free and Digital Yacht is in fact going to build a, a very nice NMEA repeater app for the iPhone and iPad platform which will be available in a couple of weeks time. Uh, the other application is obviously to attach this onto one of our transponders, either the AIT250 or the AIT1000, and that would then wirelessly enable those devices so that AIS data could be shared and people could use our iAIS app uh, as a viewing method for those. So we think it's got a good potential uh, and that should be shipping in the next uh, seven to 10 days. Later on this week, I'll be off to the Shanghai Boat Show, so I hope to be able to bring you a report from Shanghai on what we're doing there and what's going on at the show. Uh, so I look forward to talking to you all next week with a few updated information about Shanghai. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.